Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I'm doing a run and gun uh, video test with the new uh, Sony RX10 Mark II. And I'm just going to walk around and and see what uh, what kind of quality we can get with this. All that I've got here, I've got the uh, I've got the camera set to XAVCS 4K 30P, and it's at 100 megs per second. And again, if you do that, you need to have a faster uh, a faster SD card, and you can find that and all and the camera and everything that I'm talking about within this video's description. Uh, but I am using, I think the well, the card I'm using, and I'm not in front of the computer right now, but I think it's 150 meg that you can find. It's the one that's linked within this video's description. You can see the zoom on this is really nice. I don't, uh, I do have a uh, filter on it. It's just a UV filter, the B and W, uh, which. By the way, I highly recommend that. It's just really good glass. But you can see this zoom on this is, uh, it, it looks good in the, uh, in the LCD display right now while I'm doing it. Now I've got it zoomed all the way out. We're gonna walk around, do a little bit more, uh, I'm gonna walk a little bit faster, heavy, heavier steps. We'll see how this, uh, how this stabilization works. And then we're going to do, I've got a lot of videos, so check the link within this video's description. You can find them all. Uh, I just wanted to uh, wanted to test this out. It's, it's pretty, pretty cloudy out here today, but I still wanted to test it out. And the audio, obviously, is coming from the, uh, the built-in mic. What I, what I can do, this mic right here that I've got on my AX... Uh, Hey X100, I can use it with this as well. So that's something, uh, you know, you want to up your audio quality a little bit. That's a good way to do it. And that's one of the advantages of the uh, of the RX102 over the RX100 Mark IV, which is a smaller camera. It'll do uh, this camera will do up to 29 minutes continuous 4K video, whereas RX100 Mark IV can only do, um, I think it's around five minutes per, per clip. So we're gonna try the zoom right now. Uh, right now I'm zoomed all the way out and I'm gonna zoom in on that tree. The amount of zoom that you get with this is quite incredible and you can see the detail even though I'm holding it in my hand, it looks quite good. So now we're going to zoom all the way back out just so you can see how far I was zoomed in. Another interesting feature about this camera is the uh, is the, the viewfinder. Because when you look through it, it even gives you a uh, an indication of whether or not it, it thinks that it's level or not. And I'm looking through the viewfinder now. So I'm going to keep this really level and still and zoom in on that case. And zoom in all the way. So the zoom on this is considerably better than the um, than the RX100 Mark IV. Actually, I wanted to love that camera, but I couldn't because it, it unfortunately, it, it had an overheating issue with me. And it may be because I film in very hot environments. Uh, but this one I think is going to be a keeper because if this looks as good in the studio as it does in the field right now while I'm filming, I mean, this is really high quality stuff. Yeah, it does not have a user changeable lens, but the lens that comes with it is a Carl Zeiss. So do you really need anything more on a, on a, uh, on a field camera? I mean, just look at this quality. It's amazing. And that's the thing, the viewfinder I'm looking through right now, it really gives you a more accurate representation of what you might expect when you return to the studio. Whereas the LCD on the back is high quality too, but I, I find the, uh, the color that I can see within the viewfinder, I find it to be more accurate. So now let's... Uh, Let's put this on the tripod here.
take off the AX100. And we're gonna put this on the tripod. The AX100 over here. And now we're gonna put this on the tripod. So I wanna see what this can do on the tripod. Now keep in mind, and I've, I've mentioned in previous videos, I am not, I do not consider myself to be a uh, professional photographer or videographer in any sense of the way. And the reason I got this camera is that well, I went the GH4 route and I really enjoyed the GH4. Actually, some of the best, uh, some of the best footage, I, I'm gonna zoom in here while on the tripod so you can see how good it looks. Uh, some of the best 4K video that I captured was with the GH4, but the problem was, is that with the GH4, I either had it dialed in perfectly, or it was, uh, it was lackluster. And that's the problem that, that I wanted to overcome by using this camera because, oh, I was kind of kicking the tripod in my foot. I'm sorry about that. Let's do that again. Um, the problem I wanted to overcome by using this camera is my manual point of failure. Because, because of my lack of abilities, I didn't always nail it with the GH4. But with this, since it's in auto, and like, as I mentioned earlier, I'm filming in full auto right now, I can get consistently quality results and just worry about capturing the content, the videos. I do primarily video, but maybe you know do a few still photos. I can focus on the uh, content capture rather than all the technical questions as to whether or not I have it, you know, whether or not I have everything in focus and, and that sort of stuff. So you tell me what you think. I just wanted to do this field test and this is the tripod. Let's do a zoom. We've zoomed in, on out, in and out on this several times. But let's do a, um, let me do a face on video here. So I'm gonna get in front of the camera and I'm going to pull out my app. Actually, I don't know if I have the camera's Wi-Fi on. Let me, well, I'm just gonna, yeah. Let me lift this up a little bit on the tripod. And that's where that level thing in the viewfinder is nice because I can see if this is level or not. That's a really nice feature. So I installed an app on this that will let me see what the camera sees. And I've got a video, check out my tutorial, the uh, RX10 Wi-Fi uh, connectivity tutorial. And I'm gonna have to turn that back on so it may, it may kill this, uh, this video that we're recording now. So if it does, I'll just pick it back up. But I'm gonna go into menu. Yeah, I don't know if there, I don't think there's a way for me to turn Wi-Fi on without, without stopping this clip, unfortunately. So we're going to do a demonstration of that. I'm going to conclude this video. Uh, I'll say this is field test one of two. Uh, check out field test two of two, where you can see me demonstrating face on video functionality uh, using the RX-10 too. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.